You know, Yosh, Yosh is built different than the tackles we have here, so the tackles we have here are going to move differently. So it's my job to try and meld what I did the last couple of years with what they do successfully, and we can kind of combine what we do to be productive on the field during the play. How are you? Great, how are you? I'm excellent. Good. Thank you. What's been keeping you out? Uh, I th you know, just don't talk about injuries here. I think you knew that, but... Uh, some guys do. Some do, but I don't. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So an injury? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just training and uh, getting ready for the season and uh, something happened, but feeling a lot better, progressing well, and uh, getting to build in the practice, which is awesome. You don't realize how much you miss football until you're watch understanding and you you should be out there participating so it's it's great to be back Even um, you can miss camp you can despite what people say you can miss <laughs> camp and uh, I came to find that out this last couple of weeks so um, you, you know when you feel like you still got you know some juice left in the tank and you want to be out there battling it's it's tough to see that so um, glad to start building back into it is it a reoccurring what? issue a new issue or? Uh, no, just something that happened during training. But uh, like I said, it's it's feeling feeling good and, and uh, yeah, happy with, with where I'm at and progressing well. Confident on being ready for the season? That, that kind of like not a big yeah, issue. Yeah, I'm confident in, in that, you know, barring any setbacks. But, uh, you know, our therapy staff is tremendous and uh, they're doing everything they can to make sure I'm ready and, and uh, I'm feeling confident in that. I don't think you're a full participant today, but... Yeah, inching your way to it. Yep, yeah, easing back into it, um, making sure the capacity's there, and, and uh, <laughs> making sure the capacity's there, and, and just uh, feeling confident, overconfident in, in my ability to get through whole practice. So, I imagine you're still very, very active in the meeting rooms. What is, you know, with two openings in that line this year? What's, yeah. uh, what's your yeah. being back, being back into it now? It's, it's awesome. That's, that's just as much fun for me as, as being out here doing the physical stuff is in the meeting rooms figuring things out and, and communicating with young guys and making sure they're trying to understand things just as well as I do and seeing the pictures like I do and, and passing on information <laughs> passing on uh, the information I got to allow rookies to play faster. How do you feel that unit is adjust, I don't know, adjusting is a word or just you know moving towards getting that group of five, whatever that starting five looks like to be a, a continuous unit. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a change. Obviously, losing Jamarcus and losing Jeff is huge. But, uh, you know, we've had guys here in, in, the, in the ranks ready to go. And um, Eric's played a ton of football, a ton of meaningful football. And, and uh, we had Chris Ivey here last year who's having a great camp. So uh, we're going to have guys that are going to come in and, and be ready to go and compete, play physical and battle. Onus on you is the... You, know, you used to play left guard. You moved over to right guard. Is, was there was that by design, knowing that maybe there'd be a changes on the right side? Or and if there wasn't, then how much of it is on your shoulders to ensure that you know whether it be Eric or Chris Ivy, whoever it is, yeah. is, is you know up to snuff? Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely take ownership in that. Uh, I don't know how the coaches see it, but for me on a on a playing side, like I want to make sure our communication is down. And you know, Yosh and I played for five or six years together, so we could we could just see the same same things without talking about it. So you know, communication will be at a premium. Um, making sure we get our run fits the same is going to be huge. Um, making sure we're, we're sliding and moving the same way in pass pro is going to be big. So uh, that's going to come. But I think communication is where it starts. People don't understand the dynamics of the offensive line, right? It, as you mentioned, you you and Jamarcus could probably have your eyes closed and and be in sync with your footwork. So what really goes into you know making like, what, what is the footwork you need to work on what are the things you need to work on so that you can get you know get as close to that chemistry as you had with I, I mean I could, I could talk for hours about yeah, that that's, sure. a, that's a loaded yeah, question yeah. but uh, I'll try and simplify it. you know it starts with communicating and understanding what's happening in front of us the same way um, and then we're trying to mirror our physical abilities within the scheme of the play together as best we can so um, you know Yosh Yosh is built different than the tackles we have here so the tackles we have here are going to move differently so it's my job to try and meld what I did the last couple of years with what they do successfully and we can kind of combine what we do to be productive on the field during the play.